Hey, Jody here with WeldingTipsAndTricks.com. Really quick video for you today. A quick tip. Uh, welding math for fabrication when you need to build a square frame that fits inside a circle. Now, the first thing that comes to mind when I think about having to do this is round aircraft fixtures like this. And a lot of times we would get these in then I would have to build a, a uh, square stand maybe that held some tooling or something like that, but simple square stand uh, to fit the circle. How would you know the dimensions of a square box that fit inside that round fixture? It's pretty simple stuff, but I'm going to try to make it really obvious here. Now, if you, you know, a lot of times you can just use framing squares and, and an extra set of hands and, and uh, figure something like this out without any formula. Sometimes the part, the, the round part is really large. What if it's 12 feet, 20 feet? And someone wants you to calculate a square that goes within that. I've snipped a few pieces of welding wire down just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about to try to make this obvious. This line right here that divides those two triangles that, that make up the square is a hypotenuse of those triangles, which also happens to be the diameter of the round piece. So we already know the hypotenuse of that triangle. That makes it really easy because all we have to do is use this magic number. And all I need to do is multiply that times the diameter. Now, if you already know the diameter, that's easy, but to find it, just swing the tape measure till you get your biggest reading. That's it. Now it looks like that's 13 and 5 eighths. Now I'm in the U.S. I'm not on the metric system. This whole exercise is a lot easier for for people that are because I'm going to have to convert that to a decimal and then convert it back uh, to use on the tape measure again. When guys on the metric system won't be having to do all that. I need to, I need to go to a decimal here instead of 5 eighths for this to work out. So 5 divided by 8 equals 0 0.625 13.625 so 13.625 times 0 0.707 equals 9.633 inches now if that were the actual dimension I was dealing with for a part I, I could just get a machinist steel scale broken down into hundreds and make my mark and be done but I've got to convert it back over to use with a tape measure that's broken down into you know 30 seconds and 60 fourths and whatnot but these days it's just a lot easier to pull out my phone go somewhere like the engineering toolbox.com they got charts for things like that so that dimension I would need to convert back to a fraction 0.633 I went to the chart actually the closest thing to it is 5 8 so I'm just gonna go with that dimension here's just a basic basic recap of the whole process here um, you can freeze frame this if you want to come back to it and because I mentioned building a frame for a fixture, like a stand or whatever, I just went ahead and cut some 9 and 5 eighths inch long pieces of angle and cut 45s on them, laid them up here. You can see how it just fits nicely within that circle. No matter if this is 9 inches or 9 feet, doesn't matter, or if we're using square tubing or angle, you take the diameter of the circle, multiply times 0 0.707. That gives you the dimensions of each piece that will make a square that will fit inside a circle. So if you're anywhere other than the USA and you're on a metric system, this is going to be a whole lot easier. You won't have to convert the fractions. If my fifth grade teacher was right, we'd be on the metric system already and we'd have hover cars.